Hi, my name is John Sterica, and today we're going to show you a short video where we will create an interactive mobile phone simulation in Adobe Captivate. It will work on a mobile and it will also work on your desktop. So let's go. The first part of this video, we filmed a computer monitor and phone at the same time to demonstrate the pairing of the mobile device to the desktop PC. So we use a third party tool called AirDroid. AirDroid is an app that you download onto your device and it's also a website which allows you to connect your phone to your desktop PC or a Mac for that matter as well. So first of all, after we've downloaded the app and opened up the website, we synchronize our Android phone with AirDroid on our desktop. It's really easy, it uses a QR code. And it's also a good idea to be on the same Wi-Fi network as well because it can use a little bit of data. Once you're synced up, you'll be able to access things like text messages, your contacts, and even the files that are stored on your device all via the desktop browser. AirDroid has a screenshot feature which displays your Android phone screen in real time on the browser. Anything you do on the phone will be displayed on your PC. We will also use Adobe Captivate to record the phone screen activity as it appears in the AirDroid web page. In Adobe Captivate we select software simulation and also choose automatic. We need to adjust the screen recording area to match the size of the screenshot area in AirDroid. Automatic mode in Captivate will allow us to capture the phone screen as we click the mouse on our desktop PC. As we click the desktop screen with the mouse, Captivate takes a screenshot of whatever is within the recording area as defined by the red outline. As we interact with the phone, be sure to click the mouse to take the screenshot as it appears within the AirDroid browser window. You can see there, we are interacting with the phone. Every time we change the screen on the phone, we click with our mouse and that will allow Captivate to take the screenshot. We click the screen first on the computer with our mouse, then interact with the phone. Once the screen activity is finished, we can edit further in Captivate. The first thing to remember is we don't have mobile gestures available when we create stock standard software simulations in Captivate. We need to save our project as a responsive project to have the mobile gestures available in our final output. Mobile gestures will then be available to our users who will be viewing our simulation on a mobile phone. Now we can start fine tuning our project, resizing the click boxes and adding text to help guide the user through our simulation. We'll also remove the playback controls from the final output as we want people to d interact directly with the module. A quick preview shows that we can still deliver this learning via a desktop computer. People will just interact with it using their mouse or even on a tablet using a touch screen. Let's see how it works on an actual mobile phone. The swipe gestures allow forward and backward movement, which is cool as it mimics the swipe actions of the actual phone. The tap gestures work to mimic the tapping of the icons on the phone. Swiping back to the left will navigate back through the training if the user wants to go back and revisit. Thanks for watching. You can find out more at learningplan.com.au and if you've got any questions or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. See you soon.